everyone. We are live here at the Gainesboro YMCA representing the Y After School program. We have some pretty cool projects for you today. Uh, Rebecca has a friend here she's going to introduce you to. So this little guy's name is Jelly. So this is our project for today. It's a fun um, enrichment project and a craft project. So let's go ahead and explain real quick how this works. Miss Tony, will you take that end? I sure will. All right, so all you need for this craft is some string, some water bottles, a paper plate. Are you ready? Tape, scissors. Are you ready, Miss Tony? You I'm have to ready. back up, Miss Tony. I'm ready. You have to back up. All right. It is a good idea to have some oven mitts handy when you are playing with your friend that you made today from home because as you can see he flies, swims really fast. Very fast. And if you don't catch him before he gets to you, he could bite you. All right. <laughs> so we're going to lay jelly down here for right now and I'm going to show you guys what you need to do, you want to come a little bit closer, I'm going to show you what you need from home. Start off, I used little water bottles for jelly and it worked out just fine, but for demonstration purposes I'm going to use the bigger water bottles. You will need some fishing string or yarn, but a lot of people have fishing string at home. So if you have some fishing string it works really great uh, to let the animal you create fly very fast. And then we have some feathers. And you can see on Jelly, we use construction paper um, to make his little fins. We have eyeballs, but if you don't have eyeballs, you can use paper like we did on Jelly and create his eyes. The fun thing is that you can do whatever you want. You can make whatever kind of critter or creature you want. You can give them feathers, you can give them wings, you can give them fuzzies all over, you can cover them in cotton balls you can name them whatever you want so that's we're gonna right now go and make I think a type of bird is that right Miss Tony I think, I think so. we're gonna go with a type yes. of bird yes Rebecca's gonna cut the other bottle so that we can get ready to put this all together and show you exactly how we put it together now you should not be using scissors alone at home please make sure you get an adult to help you with this process because it can be tricky and we don't want anybody getting injured so after you cut the ends off your water bottles, you're going to squeeze one into the other, just like this. Let's see if I can get it. Sometimes it's got sticky stuff on it and it's catching it. Try to find clean water bottles. Yeah, you want, you want to use clean ones. All right, so there we go. We've got one bot water bottle stuck into the other. Now, you're going to take your string, and what I did was I tied little beads at the end of my strings so that we can hold on to them easier whenever we are zooming our, they call it a zoom ball. It doesn't look like a ball, but we'll go ahead with that name. You can call it zoom fish, zoom bird, whatever you wanna call it. So. You take your strings that have something tied to the end of them and drop them into your water bottles that have been connected. A little bit tricky there. The he beads also want to make it in. easier to find the string because without the beads, as you can see, fishing yeah. string is very there difficult to see. All right, so we have our string now through our soon-to-be bird creature. <laughs> All right, now we are going to wrap them in some construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, you can use anything around home. You can cut up a cereal box and use a cereal box. You can get plastic bags, whatever you want to do. Thank you, Ms. Tony. You are welcome. It is entirely up to you. It is your craft. So you get to do it however you want to do it. So we're going to make sure we have this secure really well. Maybe one more. Now the feathers. Tape a bunch of feathers. If you don't have tape, glue will work perfect. And 
What else can they use? Mm, you can wrap string around it. If you have yarn, you can actually wrap the yarn around it and just kind of trap feathers into the yarn. Yeah. And that would work great as well. Also, you could color it. If you don't have anything additional to put on it, you can color it whatever color you want. Put racing stripes on it. As you see with uh, Jelly the fish, Rebecca used uh, paper plates. So she cut two paper plates and then stapled them together. I think I want to do feathers on the bottom side of our friend too. I think so. I, think that I really don't know what we should name this one this time. I really think that, um, you know, you did such a good job naming Jelly. Get it? Jelly fish? Jelly fish. Um, I think maybe we should ask the kids out there what they think we should name this creature Ooh, that's when a good it's finished, idea. when we get it all decorated. You guys can message us and let us know. How about a balloon? Oh, yes. Okay. I, I don't have any hot air, so that's got to be you. <laughs> all right. Good job, oh, Rebecca. Wow. Fast. I have a lot of hot air. Is that what you're saying? She blew that up very quickly. What do you think? So yes, let's take some ideas for what we're going to call our bird. Oh, I, I did it on the underside. I wonder if that's going to affect. Oh, eyeballs. We need oh. his eyeballs. Here they are over here. There's a round. I, I looped a piece of tape like this to stick the eyeballs on. Sometimes that makes it easier for them to stick on or you can just tape right over top of them. Do you think it's going to stay, or should we tape it down? I don't know. I think, I think he needs a beak. Uh -oh. Maybe we should. I need another tape this time. Oh. Okay. A uh, beak. That's it. We're going to put his eyeballs up front. Okay. Well, birds do have beaks. Most. All birds, I believe. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my Are goodness. you ready to see if it works? Okay. Wait. Should I put on my oven mitts? Because, you know, last you time... You might I need to. <laughs> We're going to protect our fingers from this fast flying bird the I don't know if I can get it. I think I got it. I got to get to the end. Where is the beat? <laughs> All right, we're ready to launch. Okay, ready? Ready? Who? Oh, he's upside down. Oh, oh the balloon. That's okay. He's ready. Right heavy. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, much better with the oven mitts, children. Much better. <laughs> So please, if you will, take some time to make this craft with your siblings or your parents or friends that you have over. Hours worth of fun. Yes, and message us a name. Let us know what should we call this delightful creature. Our little friend. All right, thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 2 o'clock for another fun enrichment project. Have a great afternoon. Bye.